on this lesson here, I'll go full you onto the basic movement, onto the tanda. Practices exercise more often, little bit, so they got into it, then easy for you to use them. When you're working with this kind of movement here, get you to have your hand like this, and this hand like come up, and this hand body coming in. When this hand come up, it's easier for you to attack from this hand later. So the exercise in hand like this and palm like this. Okay, hand like this and palm like this. So basically what they do is it reinforcing your hand that in this position to ride to this position. Okay, so your hand here, turn here and palm like this. Hand, palm, and then palm like this, palm. Okay, hand together, palm. Hand together, palm. Hand together, palm. Hand together like this. So here, together, and then palm, and come back. Hand, palm, hand, palm. Hand, palm, hand, palm. Hand, palm. Okay, so hand, palm, together. Hand, palm, hand, palm. Line of movement of it, hip news to the hand, turn, body, palm, like that. The palm, we use a lot, attack the face, the hand, the hand. So soon hand like this, the hand out like this block, that should be enough there to attack in the face. So helping that coming in, divert, reinforce your hand, and like this, reinforce the punch, reinforce the palm, reinforce the punch, reinforce the palm, reinforce the punch, reinforce the palm. Reinforce the punch, reinforce the palm, like this. Line, <coughs> line, <coughs> line, <coughs> line, <coughs> like this. Important to understand that when it starts to working. So hand, palm, hand, palm, hand, palm to the face. All this is important to make sure your body turn well so you can able to use them. Every time you work in this kind of movement, it's very useful into the self-defense training on your close quarter because you use everything into that close range. Spend some time to practice with this kind of movement. I will see you on the next lesson.